Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton. This is going to be the fifth anniversary nine hole cut pro division, covering holes number three, four, five, and six. Hole number three gives us an excellent opportunity at the Albatross. We're going to start with our rock club, three bars of side spin to the right, combined with about 4.2 top. Keep your club at max distance and aim right there in the center of that tree. If your ball guideline is hitting the tree like that, you're in a good spot. Here, we're going to go with overpower. This is full overpower, okay? This is not full right curl. Do not put full right curl on this or else you do have a chance of going into the bunker, okay? So kind of take a look at my curl. This is what we need to mimic, but we are going with the max right slice. Pull off the drive, you're going to be in an excellent chance to get yourself the albatross. I recommend that you bring your Goliath and your Horizon. Depending on your rollout, you're going to be playing with one of those two clubs, and you do want the top spin. You're going to notice here with the Goliath 9, we are going to be at maximum distance. Again, we would prefer to take this with our Goliath if we had the choice. We're going to put our yellow ring on the rough. And then we're going to spin to the hole with one bar of side spin to the right. You're going to want to put your ball guideline fully in the hole, but you're going to want to offset to the left-hand side of the pin. Just like that, you see? Once I found this shot, I did make it two out of three times with perfect attempts. So, you know, that's always nice when you can get two out of three uh, for the albatross drop. That does include one uh, drop in practice mode. But here, perfect ball. And you'll see this ball goes into the hole very nicely. Hit it in 4.9 wind and 5.3. There you go. We smacked the pin and we're in for that Albra. This will take us to hole number four. Another excellent chance here to pick yourself up an extra drop. Uh, here, you can play this one with your extra mile or you can play it with your APOC. Okay, just depending on what you'd rather do. I would prefer that you play at the APOC. That's going to be better for accuracy and power. Here we're going with three bars of side spin to the right, and you can see that I'm using seven bars of top spin. Uh, for accuracy purposes, we will back up to the plus seven yard mark with an extra mile nine, putting most of our red ring in the rough, but just a little bit of it in the fairway, leaving ourselves a little bit of room for a great right, okay? It's a good thing I did that. Half a ball of curl, and you're going to see here that I do hit a very minor, or more, a little, sorry, let me... Let me rewind here. This is a little bit more than half a ball of curl. I misspoke. A little bit more than half a ball of curl to the right. And you see here, I do hit a minor great shot to the right. Very minor. I do get away with it. The ball is going to sit right here on the fairway without going into the rough. So very nice. Shot number two, you're going to see my shot. I played minus 10% at minimum distance. I do want you to try to play at minus 5% at minimum uh, basically, on this particular shot, I did not pull enough rings, which means I had the elevation wrong. Um, I needed to pull about another decimal or two. So if we were to drop this down to minus 5% um, and then take the shot, that should be better. Uh, if you start with minus 10% and you change to minus 5% and you don't get any decimal movement because you get hit with low wind, you might want to play this one at 0%, okay? Just a little tip there if you get super low wind. But you see here, the speed is perfect. I just burned the right-hand edge of the cup. I needed about another 0.2 pull, and we would have been in there for the eagle. All right, we're going to go on to this par 5. Uh, you know, I did not do a great job on this particular hole. Uh, do know that I wanted to get with the Berserker since we're going to be getting back-to-back -back headwind. And my goal here was to use a power 5 ball and hopefully clear this little patch of rough and get over the sand and get maximum distance for shot number two, trying to get the ball as far right-hand side as possible. Now, you know, I am playing on my lunch break, so I, I don't have a lot of time uh, to sit here and dial in each hole, you know, especially for a qualifying round, because I do want to get the content out there so you can see the wind angles and you can at least see some perfect ball approaches. But you see there, we do clip the rough and we roll out. Um, I did that on both my accounts, so at least the rollout was safe. And it still gives us a chance for an albatross. I mean, it's not um, its not an impossibility here that we might be able to pick this one up. You can see about two bars of side spin to the left and about four bars of backspin. I can still, even with that amount of backspin, I can still get my ball guideline past the hole. Now here I try to make my pull, and I do pull a little bit in the overpower. So, 
you know, we could reduce the backspin a little bit and maybe back the target up a little bit to get a more accurate pull. But this is very close to an accurate pull. I wasn't too much into overpower. Now I do decide to compensate and use just a tad of overpower on the shot. Not a whole lot, but at least I did hit it perfect. And you see here, you know, we're gonna miss it by a couple green squares to the left, but the speed was actually pretty good. Pretty safe eagle. Um, you know, we don't love that wind angle for that albatross shot for sure. All right, that's gonna take us into uh, the last hole here. Well, this is hole number six, not the last hole of the tournament. I'll continue to keep playing. But here, this one I was getting frustrated on. I spent so many practice tokens trying to figure this one out, um, considering that I was really close on my first practice try. Well, I guess I spent four, so, you know, I didn't spend all day on it, but, you know, uh, disappointed that I couldn't get this ball to drop. About 1.1 back, about 0.7 to the right side spin. Uh, you will see here that I'm just trying to get my ball guideline developed into the hole just like that. And then I make my adjustment. I, I played it 0% at mid. I put, hope I put that on the graphic. This is 0% at mid. Uh, but for me, I'm getting an inconsistent rollout. Sometimes I miss it to the right. Sometimes I miss it to the left. Um, you're going to see here missing to the left. So, you know, did the best that I can. I'll get the last three holes out a little bit later. I hope this helps you all. Uh, have a great day.